How you doing? Beautiful family. How are you? Today is Friday, so for those that it applies, Shabbat Shalom to you. Um, I had a migraine this morning. Horrible, horrible migraine. And uh, so if I look out of it, then what does it matter, right? Because God looks at our inward parts, not our outward parts. So I didn't do a devotional yesterday. Um, so I'm going to do today, yesterday's and today's for December 15th, 2022, the actual words of Jesus Christ spoken 2000 years ago when he left his glory from the heavens and came onto this earth to teach repentance of sins for the kingdom of God is at hand. And now we're seeing Bible Bible prophecy unfold right before our very eyes we see that that day is quickly approaching so please if you are not saved yet I encourage you to watch watch or read the Gospel of John if you want to watch it I could recommend this version this is the thumbnail you'll see on Amazon Prime it's the 2015 version start with that and then read the Bible. Remember, the prophet Jeremiah said, my people perish because of their lack, lack of knowledge. And that applies to all of us. All right, December 15, 2022. The farmer and the hen, out of the Gospel of Luke 13:34. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together, as again, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were not willing. A farmer was once walking through a burned out barn, and his eyes fell on the sorry sight of a dead hen that had been caught in the blaze. When he pushed the smoldering bird over with his foot, he found a number of live chicks beneath its dead body. She had gathered her brood under her wings to protect them from the fire. Meanwhile, she sacrificed her own life. That was what God desired to do with Jerusalem. Unfortunately, they refused his love and instead came under the fire of his wrath, which is coming up in Daniel's 70th week prophecy, the seven year tribulation. Had they, had they, had they been willing, this would have been their portion. And this is from Psalm 91 4. He shall cover you with its feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler, if they had been willing. We have the same message for the sinful world. In Christ, God made a way for us to be sheltered from the wrath to come. So let's self-examine ourselves and ask ourselves, when and how did we learn of God's love for us and how did it change our lives? It's always good, it's always good to go back and, uh, and remnants of your first true love, which is Jesus Christ. He should be your first true love. Father, thank you for gathering us under the shelter of your wings. For December 16, 2022, it's entitled Desolate House, and it's from the Gospel of Luke 13, 35. See, your house is left to you desolate, and assuredly I say to you, you shall not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Baruch Havah Hashem Adonai. That's the Hebrew translation. The words of Jesus are without parallel. Here he is speaking of a future event, of the devastating judgment that will fall upon the city of Jerusalem. Matthew Henry said of this portion of scripture, Matthew Henry is a great commentary. Jerusalem and her children had a large share of guilt and their punishment has been a signal. But ere long, the Zerd vengeance will fall on every church, which is Christian in name only. 
In the meantime, the Savior stands ready to receive all who come to him. There is nothing between sinners and eternal happiness but their proud and unbelieving unwillingness. We live in dark days. We live in dark days, family. We live in dark days when many a professing Christian church is desolate of biblical truth, where the authority of Scripture is denied, salvation by grace is not preached, and that which is considered an abomination to the Lord is instead embraced. To self-examine ourselves, we should always ask, what am I doing today to hold fast to what is good? Father, may we always love what you love and hate what you hate. Have a blessed weekend, guys. I love you, family. I love you a lot. Look up for your, our, our redemption draws nigh. Remain steadfast in his love. Do not take your eyes off of the author and the beginner of our faith, Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man goes to the Father except through the Son. Yahushua HaMashiach. Remember, God doesn't, want a, God doesn't want a religion from you. God wants a relationship with you, an intimate relationship. Love you all. Ciao.